Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to your class. Your class number five. Good afternoon, Byron, and good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Anita. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you today, Anita? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay. <laughs> I know better than you. <laughs> no, I mean, good afternoon. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, let me share with you the presentation, the class presentation for today. <clears throat> okay, so today it's Monday, January 24th, 2022, right? That's the year. And the topic for today's class is what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Okay, it's like, what's your daily routine? It's a similar question. Mm -hmm. The lesson objectives for today is that first, by the end of the class, you will develop a skills in, oh, Predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing through interviews about schedules. Well, this is in the platform. I omitted, I mean, I assume that you are going to uh, read those uh, interviews and about schedules by your own, and you have to complete the, the, the knowledge check that is after each of exercise. Mm -hmm. And the other objective is by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Mm -hmm. So let's start. I, um, I don't know if you read the, if you read the text that someone from Inglés Corporativo sent you, did you read the text on WhatsApp? Okay, so in this, the week from January 24, right? And it says that you have to um, be on section three right now in the platform. So right now guys, you can advance in the platform as much as you can. You can continue advancing even though we have not studied that topic in the class yet, okay? But don't stop, you can continue, okay? And uh, so today I want to show you this part of the, <clears throat> of the platform, okay? In the platform, let me see from the section one, I guess. Yeah, the last, the last part of section one. It's what I was telling you, the, the readings. Las lecturas, ¿verdad? The readings. Eso lo van a hacer ustedes, ¿no? de hecho. Like I said, the knowledge check. But this is after reading the articles. Okay, so it's something you have to do in the platform. What's your schedule like? Mm -hmm. So, um, we'll see the, the examples. We'll see the video. And after that, we are going to uh, do our own examples. Okay, so let's watch the video. It's very sh short.
up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop Okay. So though that was like the interviews. Those were the little interviews, the short interviews. And now we are going to do the same, but you are going to interview your classmates. You are going to ask your classmates different questions that were in interviews. For example, these questions. Question number one, what's your schedule like? Another other questions you can ask, how do you go to work? What time do you do your homework? What do you do after class? What time do you go to bed? So in what's your schedule like, I wrote this example. I get up at 5 a.m. I have breakfast at 6.30 a.m. I start work at 7. I have lunch at 12. And you can continue mentioning other activities. I know every person has different activities. So um, the answers will be different, right? And if you don't work, you can ask the other questions, right? Like, what do you do in the mornings? Or what do you do before class? Or what do you do after the English class? Okay? <clears throat> what time do you go to bed? Or what do you do in the evening? So uh, maybe you can copy the questions. And... Uh-huh so that you can have them to ask your partners, right? To interview your partners.
Good. So now I'm going to send you to the groups and you will interview your classmate. So please participate and take notes. Take notes about your classmates' answers. Please. Hola Tatiana, ¿tiene problemas para entrar a las salitas? Solamente yo estaba, pero me salí. Ya. Sí, no, no había entrado la otra persona. Ok, bueno, no sé, ahí está Jennifer o Elda. Ahí también está este, Byron. Tal vez pueda trabajar con Byron o Jennifer. Mire, Elda ya entró, pero ahora está ella solita. ¿eh? Entonces trabajamos aquí con Byron y Jennifer. Sí, está bien. Voy a mover a ella a, la, a otra sala. Las preguntas que usted dice, este, nos colocó ahí, esas son las que vamos a, 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 a practicar, ¿verdad? Así es, también puede hacer otras.
Byron, are you there? Not too so. Not too you can so. work with Tatiana, Byron. Ah, okay. <clears throat> At seven, no, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Yes. Okay. Zulma. Hola. Eh, le voy a preguntar yo. Eh, how do you how do you go to work? No, I don't work. Oh, one time I do stay you... in my home. Ah, uh -huh. um, esta la otra no aplicaría. What do you do after class? I, if I have homework, I do it in, in some, I, I sleep in. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time do you go, do you go to bed? Um, usually 8 p.m. Ah, okay. But about you, Sulma? To work. work. Sí, así sería. Okay. Well, I now I don't work, but maybe I will get up a job in okay. some company. What, uh, okay. okay. What time do you to work? Do to do, do you work? Do you work? Sería, what time do you do your homework? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, se me había olvidado la, la otra. Sí. Uh, I do my homework. ¿A qué horas hacemos? Sí. Continue practicing. En esta estamos. Ok. Estamos intentándolo. Yeah. Try. Try. As much as you can. Gracias. Vamos a responder aunque sea una. Este... Como decía la última, me dijo, léame el inglés. Eh, ahorita se la leo, dice, what time do you go to bed? Oh. Mm -hmm. Teacher, y ahí para empezar a responder, ¿cómo sería? Porque la verdad no tengo idea. I go to bed, I go to bed at 9 p.m., for example. Así que comenzamos con el I go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. What time, for example, the number, how do you go? En la pregunta, how do you go to work? La respuesta sería, I go to work by bus. Or just, I take the bus. Uh -huh. Okay, and the other question, what time do you do your homework? Mm -hmm. I do my homework después de la clase, mm -hmm. after class, or, or it can be at night. Uh, what do you do after class? I practice in the classroom. I do my homework and drink coffee. <laughs> what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Now practice. 
Okay, thank you. Gracias. Welcome. Ah. Sí, Va, este. entonces, si gusta, pregúnteme. O, oh, por ejemplo, what do you do after the dinner? Espérame, que no salí. No, 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 permíteme. Y a las preguntas. What do you do after dinner? ¿Qué haces después de la cena? What do you do after dinner? Es, uh, for instance, uh, after the dinner, I do wash the dishes. I 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 wash the dishes. Before that, I do my homework because I prefer do my homework at night. Okay. Remember, before is antes y de. after is después. Eh, la utilicé bien. Eh, por ejemplo, after y luego before. Dijo. Dice, después, de, después de la cena lavo los platos. Uh -huh. Y antes de lavar los platos hice la tarea. Before. Bien, después de cenar, lava los trastes. Uh -huh. y, de, y antes de lavar los trastes, hace sí, la, tarea. la tarea. Entonces, Ajá. después de cenar, hace la tarea. Ajá, pero como dije primero, o, o quizás sí tiene lógica, pero no sé si es correcto decirlo en inglés. Por ejemplo, ¿qué hice después de la cena? Después de la cena, lavé los trastes, pero antes de lavar los platos, yo hice la tarea. Yeah, tendría que ser after dinner, I do homework. Mm -hmm. I do homework first. And then I wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. right. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, I think it's time to go back. Okay. No sé, ustedes ahí, compañeros. Eh. Okay, class. So, um, I would like to know about your classmates. What can you tell me about your classmates' schedules? Uh -huh. Your classmates' schedules, what do they do? What time do they do their homework? What do they do after class? What time do they go to bed? Tell me about your classmates, please. I would like to know. You don't remember what your, your classmates answers? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, Anita, go ahead. Please, um, please. So, uh, Noemi say that she 
go to the world uh, in taxi. Okay, Noemi goes to work by taxi. Yeah, Sulma doesn't work like me. She's okay. staying home <laughs> like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Noemi, uh, she does her homework at four o'clock. Then she goes to the work after class. And she goes to the bed at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Very good, Anita. Thank you, Anita. Okay. I'm pretty sure that all of you participated in the activity. Good. So now let's continue. And now you're going to learn vocabulary about house and apartment to learn the parts of the house and apartment. So <clears throat> what is the difference between a house and an apartment? Can someone tell me one difference? What is the difference between a house and between an apartment? Or are they the same? They are different. They are different. Yes. Okay, which is beer? A house or an apartment? Which is beer? Beer. Uh, a house. Exactly, a house is beer. Another difference is that the apartment is usually on a building. In exactly. un edificio, right? And the house yes. is, well, it's only the house, right? <laughs> the house can... Uh, the house is more comfortable, comfortable more than the apartment. Apartment? Okay. Also, the house uh, usually have uh, three or more bedrooms. Exactly. A house has more rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More rooms than an apartment. The house has garden and the apartment, the apartment doesn't have garden. Excellent, very nice, very nice. Yes. Okay, so over here in the picture, you can see a two floor house. A house can have one floor, two floors or even three floors, right? But in El Salvador, the most common are two floors houses. Mm -hmm. In the first floor, we have, repeat after me, please. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Yard. Yeah. Garage. 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 Bedroom. 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 Closet. Closet. Bedroom. 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 Bathroom. Bathroom. More stairs. Oh, yes. And another bedroom. bedroom. Another, another bedroom. bedroom. Yes. Uh, what is hall? Oh, the hall. Closet, hall. Yes, the closet is the closet, like the closet <laughs> where you and keep your clothes. And the hall is un pasillo. Uh, yes. Pasillo. Mm -hmm. Pasillo. pasillo. Yes, and then laundry room is where you room. wash your clothes. If you can have your washing machine there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the first floor is the same, the first part at home. O una parte de la casa? The first floor is the primer piso, el piso de abajo. Ah, es una casa de dos plantas. 
Exactly, first floor and uh -huh. second floor. Uh -huh. Esta es una, this house has two floors. Mm. Tiene dos pisos. Uh -huh. O es de dos plantas. The first floor, primera planta. Second floor, segunda planta. Por eso tiene stairs, gradas, las gradas. Stairs. Uh -huh. De esta parte va encima, ¿verdad? De esta. Ok. And over here we have an apartment. In the apartment, it's, as you can see, it's smaller, right? It's a smaller than the house. And uh, you can see. The elevator, the living room, the dining room, the bedroom, the closet, and the kitchen. How many bedrooms? Only one. Only one. And in the house, how many bedrooms do we have? Three. Three bedrooms, yes. Okay. Let's see the parts of the house like... Um, more in detail. Okay, so we have the house and the house has a living room where you usually watch TV, relax, talk to your family. In the bedroom, the bedroom is my favorite part of the house because you can sleep in your bedroom, right? <laughs> in the kitchen, another favorite part of your house where you can find the food, right? The dining room is the place where you have a table, chairs, and you eat. You eat with your family. The bathroom is very necessary because you need to take a shower and you need, right, to go to the toilet. <laughs> you need to use the toilet, the bathroom. We have a garden. I love the gardens. A back jar is, is the, it's like a jar, but it's not in front of your house. It's in the back, in the back of your house. It's un patio, el patio de atrás. Okay, that's a back jar. Door, la puerta, window, ventana, balcony, el balcón, attic, attico. The roof, el techo, y la chimenea, chimney, chimney. Okay, so those are the parts of the house. You should take notes. Ya se sabían las partes de la casa. Yes, teacher. Mm, that's great. Okay, so now let's go to the activity number three. Describe your house. You are going to describe your house. The first one says, my house has three bedrooms. Two living rooms, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, and a garden and a garage. In one living room, en, un, en una sala, tenemos, there are two armchairs, hay dos eh, sillones, a bookcase, un estante de libros, a clock, un reloj, and a flower vase, un jarrón de flores. In the kitchen, there is a stove, hay una cocina, a refrigerator, a coffee maker, que es la cafetera, a microwave, microondas, a kitchen cabinet, que es como el... Ay, yes, I forgot the word. Chinero, right? Kitchen cabinet. And a sink and a blender. To blend the tomatoes and make tomato sauce. Okay, so what are you going to do? You are going to describe your house and you are also going to write about two rooms in your house. Okay, so let's work on that activity, please. ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces? ¿Puede alguien decirme? Vamos a describir las partes de la casa 
y pequeños ejemplos de lo que hay en, en la sala, en la cocina, etc. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yes, I will, when you read your paragraph, I will imagine your house. Okay, so let's write about your house and you can also write it in the chat so I can read it. And yeah, we don't lose it. Okay, so let's work. Les dejo la presentación presentándose. Yes, teacher. Um, si ¿Sí la ven. Okay, if you want, you can share your description in the chat so that we can all 
can read about your description, the description of your house. You know what? When we talk about um, the things that we have in our house, for example, here I wrote in one living room, there are two armchairs. Uso el there are. ¿Alguien sabe para qué se utiliza el there are? A ver, ¿quién nos quiere ayudar con there are? El there are se usa en inglés para decir hay. Hay. También there is. There is es en singular, como aquí, miren. There is. There is a stove, a refrigerator, coffee maker. Entonces, en la cocina hay, hay una estufa, una cocina, un refrigerador, una cafetería, y así, ¿verdad? Hay una. Y there are two armchairs, quiere decir, hay dos armchairs. Entonces, there are plural, and there is is singular, ¿ok? So, I would like to know... Okay, maybe I'm gonna continue writing here about other parts of the house. For example, in the in the in the bathroom. Okay, in the help me. What things can we find in the bathroom? In the bathroom, there is a toilet. Que es la taza, verdad? Del sanitario. There is a toilet. A mirror. Un espejo. What else? A soap. Okay, soap. In the bathroom, there is a toilet, a mirror, a soap, shampoo, um, toilet paper, a towel, que es una toalla, ¿verdad? A sink, que es el lavamanos. ¿Ok? A thin, a thin brush. Oh, ok. Um, ajá, a toothbrush. O oh, a toothbrush, a toothbrush. Ok. <laughs> Okay, we have the first person sharing. We have a Carla Tejada. My house is smaller. ¿Lo quiere leer usted, Carlita? No, coach, your pronunciation is... Es mejor que la mía. Okay, so I can pronounce it and you can hear how the words are pronounced. Okay? Okay. Yo leo para que usted sepa cómo se pronuncia. Okay. My house is smaller. Aquí puede decir my house is small. Solo small. Es pequeña, ¿verdad? My house is small because only live my mother and me. Because, um, uh -huh. because uh, only my mom and I live in there. Sería así. My mom Moon and I live in there. Okay. What else it says? But my house has four bedrooms. Wow. Your house is not as small <laughs> because it has four bedrooms, one living room, one bathroom, a little kitchen, a big gardening in the uh, in the front, in the front of the house. In the or at the front, in the front, in the front of the house. Um, what else it says? Because my mother loves flowers and different plants. I love flowers and plants too. In the living room, there are three armchairs, a bookcase, a clock, TV, the mirror, a photograph of the family, and a flower vase artificial. 
Okay, the flower ways. I have a run the flores artificiales. Okay, in artificial flowers. In the kitchen, there is a stove, a table with chairs, uh -huh, and refrigerator and microwave. Okay, very good, Carlita. Okay, somebody else? Someone else? I don't know. Anita. Okay. I had to write or read. If you want Anita, you can you can read. Okay. Uh -huh, and we hear you. In my house, uh, my house has three bedrooms, one bathroom and one kitchen, one living room and one living room, a backyard and a garage. In the bedroom, there are a bed, a television, a child, a curtains, lamps, in a room. In the background, there are curtains, mirror, toilet, soap, shampoo, uh, toilet paper, etc. <clears throat> In the kitchen, there are uh, microwaves, uh, refrigerators, we have a coffee table, chairs, um, okay, Anita, thank you for sharing. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's make another example here. Now let's, we have the living room, we have the kitchen, we have the bathroom, and let's say the bedroom. Tell me, what can we find in the bedroom? In the bedroom, there is a bed, bed. Uh, a little table. Okay, there is a bed, a night table, lamp, a lamp. You can have a closet, closet. or a wardrobe. How do you say mesa de noche? Night table. Night table. And, y los mueblecitos que tienen así como espejos no es un closet, sino que es como donde se maquilla. Ah, yes. Um, ay, 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 I forgot that. Tocador. Uh -huh. Tocador. Yes, I, I just forgot the name of that in English. Let me remember. It's a dresser. It's called dresser. A uh, dresser. Una zapatera. <laughs> um, the shoes stand. A shoe stand. A fam. Uh, can you repeat, please? A fan. Oh, Thank yes, you. a fan. Because if, if there is, if it's very hot, right? <laughs> you need a fan. Okay, Byron sent his description. It says, my house has four bedrooms. Wow, guys, you live in very big houses. I think in San Salvador, we have small houses, but if you live out of San Salvador, like in Chalatenango, Sonsonate, Aguachapan, Santa Ana, and other places, the houses are very big. My house has four bedrooms, one living room, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, and a garden. 
In a living room, there are trees of us, a bookcase, and a TV. In the kitchen, there is a stove, a refrigerator, a kitchen cabinet. In the bathroom, there is a toilet, a mirror, soap, shampoo, a sink, a toothbrush. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for sharing, okay? So you can continue describing each part of your house, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. And you are learning vocabulary about furniture and things at home. Okay, now guys, um, it's time for the wrap up. Okay. In the wrap up. And I would like to hear from everybody. Okay. We, I haven't heard about Amalia. Amalia, welcome. Jenny Palencia, Elda. It's the first time I think that we see you in the class. So I don't remember so much. Okay, so tell me, you learned today, what was your favorite activity and what are you going to practice? Hello. So tell me, what did you learn today? Let's start with that one. What did you learn today? Hey coach, today I learned about the different parts of the house and the, the practices was conversations, uh, for instance, that uh, where where do you work and what do you do after the dinner? Uh, what do you do after the class? And it's not only that, my favorite activity was a. When I dis describe the part of my phone, and I am going to practice the pronunci pronunciation. The pronunciation. Excellent, Carlita. Applauses for Carlita. <laughs> okay, any other person would like to share with the class? Alguien más le gustaría compartir lo que ha aprendido hoy? Okay. I learned about the parts of the house and about the how can I do the schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Talk about schedule. And my favorite activity was uh, write about my house because I know I know a new vocabulary. And I'm going to practice the vocabulary because I have a lot of work that I don't know. Okay, and in future classes, we are going to learn more, okay? Excellent. I hope tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. So now I want to take some minutes and to show you about the platform and that you have to, you know, you have to advance, right? So you can get your certificate at the end of the course. ¿Por dónde van? Aquí, for example, this is the, the section 1.12. What's your schedule like? Bye. Entonces aquí, usted va a ver el video otra vez y después you will find an exercise. Knowledge check. Read the article, then number the activities in each person's schedule. Select the number from one to five. 
Exactly, the example, Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like, Brittany? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon, then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Desde las 8 hasta la medianoche. Brittany Davis, what is the first activity? She gets, she goes to class, she takes the bus, she works, she studies, or she gets up. She gets up is number one, right? It says, my classes start at eight, so I get up at seven. So the first activity is that she gets up. Uh, she gets up. Number two, she takes the bus. Number three, she goes to class. Number four, she works. And number five, she studies. She studies in the evening. So you're gonna do the same. Joshua Bourne's website designer. You read. And then you have to select the option. The option he has a breakfast is number one, two, three, four, or five. It says, What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6 30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work. Uh, all night to finish a project. So he has a breakfast is number, what is the number one? He starts work, he eats dinner, he gets up or he goes for a run. Well, the first is he gets up. Primero se levanta, ¿verdad? Aunque aquí hay un error, mire, ya se fijaron en el, en el error. Gets is G-E-T-S. He gets up. Mm -hmm. Then he goes for the room. Then he has breakfast. After breakfast, he starts work. Oops, number four. And finally, he eats dinner in the evening. Right? Then we have Maya Black, a rock music musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night, I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. So what is the first thing? She has dinner, she finishes work, she goes to bed, she goes to work, or she goes home. <clears throat> well, first, she goes to work. Number two, she finishes work. Number three, she has dinner. Then, number four, she goes home and finally she goes to bed. You submit the answers. And wow, you, oops, we have one problem here. Ah, es que miren, me equivoqué aquí, era number five y le puse number four, ahí me equivoqué. Submitting. Okay, now I got them correct. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. <laughs> okay, when you finish, then you go next. Oh, my internet is a little bit slow today it's because it's Monday and, and the internet knows it's Monday. <laughs> okay, now we start the section two. Es lo que vimos hoy, vocabulary and house apartment vocabulary. Eso ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Okay, so tomorrow we are going to uh, study a little bit more about questions. Ya las vimos un poquito, ¿verdad? Así es que como ya las vimos, ya vimos un poquito de esto de last week, ya pueden empezar a hacer los ejercicios porque ya... Ya vimos sobre esto. 
For example, complete the conversation, select the option that completes the two blank fields in each sentence or question. Linda, do you live in an apartment? No, y Chris responde, no, I don't. I live in a house. Esas serían las, las correctas. But tomorrow in the class, we are going to study more about the questions, okay? But you can start now. Ustedes pueden empezar ya a ver los videos y practicar. Ahora bien, de hecho sería lo genial, lo, lo, lo ideal es que usted los haga antes de la clase. Y las questions, any questions or doubts you have, usted me pregunta, que lo vemos acá en clase. Y bueno. I don't know if you have any questions. So far, ya esta semana ya tendrían que empezar la sección 3. Section 3. So I hope that you can advance. No sé por dónde van. Usted no emi por, por dónde va. Section 3. Section 3. Excellent. Yes. Tatiana. Section 4. Wow! <laughs> en Anita, section five. <laughs> I finished it. You finished? Yes. Wow, it's even better. <laughs> Ay, entonces... solo, que, solo que mi pregunta sería que el mismo examen que nos pusieron en el primero es el mismo examen final que nos han puesto hoy en este. Ah, es el, el examen, examen final. Sí. Ok, gracias por decirme. Entonces lo voy a, lo voy a reportar. Sí, y... porque yo lo hice y todo, pero no sé si así va a ser o tenía que ser de todo el, el review de lo que habíamos visto. Ok, ok. Thanks for, for letting me know. Otra cosa es que si, por ejemplo, porque quizá algunas clases todavía no las hemos tenido, ¿verdad? Y usted va avanzando en la plataforma. Si algún ejercicio le salió malo, usted puede volverlo a hacer y la nota le va a ir subiendo. En el es 100%. Bueno. Ajá, para obtener el 100%. Ya okay. lo tengo. Excelente. Sí. Ok. It's 2.05. So we have to finish. We have to go. But it was a pleasure to see you, ok? Um, uh -huh. you, can, you can investigate for more vocabulary or house, apartments, and things at home, for things at home. And we are going to um, continue using that vocabulary in the future classes, okay? So it was a pleasure to see you today. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, 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 Bye. 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 Bye.